tonight's Helen's Guzina proudly brought to you by Advanced Poultry and Suvlaki, 327 Canterbury Road, Canterbury. When entertaining, you want the best. Advanced Suvlaki is famous all over Australia for their amazing backstrap, pork, beef and chicken suvlaki. Just ask anyone in the know. For the best suvlaki, call Advanced, 9789-1000. Book soon for Christmas, Advanced, 9789-1000. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Helen's Cuisina. Today, I've got a real treat for you. If you've ever heard of those beautiful Cypriot flowers or the little cheese pies, today I'm gonna to make life easy. You don't have to wait till Easter. This is a real treat and great for Christmas coming up. It's a flowana cake or a flowana loaf. You don't have to worry about the pastry. This is ready to go in 30 minutes. To start off with, you need three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter. You can use oil, but I like to use butter. We're gonna whisk that until it becomes white and fluffy and we're gonna add some sugar in there. So that's three quarters of a cup of butter. So we've got it nice and white and a little bit creamy. We're gonna add our sugar in now. So that's half a cup of sugar and we're gonna keep beating it until it's nice and fluffy. We're gonna to add to that one egg at a time. We've got six eggs in total, so we're just gonna keep beating it until we're happy with it. So we're just gonna add the flour into our egg and butter mixture and give it a really good mix. It's a good idea when you're adding the flour in that you alternate with the milk. So to this, you're gonna need about a half a cup of milk. So guys, you're looking for a battery kind of mixture. It's not meant to be really thick at the moment because we're gonna add our cheese in. I love to use a mixture of cheeses. So we're today gonna to use two cups of cheddar cheese and two cups of a halloumi. If you wanna use all halloumi, that's fine as well, or cheddar, but the balance of the two, delicious. So I've got half the cheese mixture in here already. And what we wanna now do is add some really, really nice pungent taste to it. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup of chopped mint. You can use fresh mint or you can use dried mint. I like to use fresh. So it's about now guys, where we've got half the mixture ready. We're gonna add the rest of the cheese and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of sesame seed. Flowers are traditionally served with sesame seed and we're gonna finish it off with that as well. Now, the biggest debate of it all, sultanas or no sultanas? It's always on everyone's lips. I particularly love the sultanas, but the rest of my family doesn't like them. You could do half-half, but today we're doing sultanas. Give it a really good mix right at the end there and we're almost ready to put it in the oven. Oven, 180 degrees, have that going, and this is gonna cook for about an hour to an hour and a half. So today I'm using a rounded mould. What I like to do with this is put a little bit of butter at the end and I've got some sesame seed in there guys so that when I'm putting it in hopefully that's going to sit on the top and when we pour it over it's ready to go. And there we have it guys, our flour and a loaf. Trust me, your family and friends are going to love this. It's beautiful with a nice glass of white wine, summery day, Christmas, there it is. <laughs> 